this guy. So this is just a hand. I would... <laughs> Those are pretty cool. Woohoo! I love this one. Hmm. That's what I'm looking for. See, wouldn't that be nice on a desk? But this one clamps on. So if I get the tilting desk, then it won't fall. I love all these cool ones, but I think I'm gonna have to finish like decorating and come back for some lighting inspiration. But also, there's a crayon, guys. So, I don't even know. That's so cute. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Hmm. So cute. So the fancy legs with the adjustable trestle on it isn't in until next week. So I'm going to have to make another trip back. And I might as well get like the um, cupboards then as well. So because I think I can fit all of this in my car because I got one table with legs. And then I will hopefully get the second table or the legs for a table because it's adjustable which will look I means it can tilt um, for like drawing and stuff so I really want that they said they're getting a shipment on Monday so I'm gonna come back then so because I think that these tabletops will both fit in my car I'm gonna try and get one drawer unit and see how that goes for now and then well, I guess I'm coming back next week Alright, so I got two tabletops, but and I got and one Alex drawer unit, but unfortunately 
there was like no stock for table legs except for black which I'm cool with but I really want the trestle one that like tilts up um and then I wasn't sure if I wanted to do trestle for my ceramics table or just normal legs I kind of think that I need to just because they're not coming in till next week I'm just gonna come back and then like hopefully they have a shipment of a whole bunch of legs and then I can um, get a better idea I might even zip through and browse in the showroom next time before I go and get the trestle legs apparently their shipments coming in on Monday so hopefully I can uh, get some right so I'm gonna assemble the Alex drawer it's going to be for like all my papers and just um, everything that I'm using for making art videos just all the paper stuff I'm gonna need a taller cabinet for I think finished art projects because I have a lot of those and I want to keep my examples um, but I don't know if I need a drawer for my ceramic stuff because I have a cart for that and then I have a cart for my paints I think next time I'm gonna to have to come back for maybe a taller Alex unit for just like or something to store all my finished art projects like all my examples and then I also think that I'm going to need hmm, a couple cupboards they have these ones that you can like that are unfinished that you can just paint yourself and I kind of like that idea so two tabletops which is good because at least I can piece together um, everything in my car in two trips I wouldn't be able to probably make it with the cupboards in a second I'd have to come back for the covers is what I'm saying. I can't take all that in a car. That's crazy. Although I can get a lot in there. It's just not gonna happen, but yeah, we're gonna have to think about that, I think. Ooh, that looks like a diaper flying off my ear. That's cute. Anyway, we'll see. So I'm not sure. I got two white tabletops and a desk. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna finish painting my other shelves. I think I might even paint my wedging table and try to like re-screw that because it's wobbly from just wedging. And then I'm gonna think. <laughs> okay, let's go. Dude, it's such a humid day, but I got everything in my car. Look at the tabletop comes right <laughs> to my arms. Does anybody else relate to that Ikea feeling of, oh my goodness, am I going to fit this in my car? Because that's what I'm feeling right now. But I got it in. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to come back next week. Monday. Apparently the trestle legs are coming in. I really want them. They look so cute. And I just... I hope I can put the table side by side if I still get them. Um, yeah. It's just so cute. All right, so we're back in the studio. I have been doing some serious clearing. All right, those shelves are painted. That's Russell. Um, so I'm happy about that. Except for I just realized I forgot to paint the ends on that. So that'll have to change. But um, I've gotten rid of one table. Um, and I think that... I'm unsure, but I might keep this table, like, because this one folds in half, so I might use it as, like, a back a backup table, but I gotta do some shifting, so these shelves are all painted. I'm much happier because it's a little bit more peaceful, and then it really helps the art pop. Next, I gotta paint those. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, um, and I'm pretty undecided. So I forgot that I own this. I probably bought it like two years ago. And that's my wedging table hiding over there at this point. It's just in the corner for now while I redo things. Um, and it has lived through a lot of clay. So I think I might paint it. Um, and I wonder if I should use this on it. I'm kind of thinking that this might be, since I have it, and obviously I can't return it. <laughs> um, I think I might paint that in that color. And then maybe I'll paint, 
I was originally gonna paint those shelves in that color, but I feel like that's a waste of paint, of that paint. So I'm gonna just find some random, whatever, cause I'm out of white paint. I'm just gonna go find something white. I'm sure I have some sort of white leftover paint somewhere. I'm gonna try for that. So I'll go grab that. I'm gonna do that. Um, and I got, again, those tabletops, but new, like this guy. Okay, bye. Anyways, I don't got the legs. And I just want something that makes it look peaceful. I gotta show you guys, look at this plaster under here. That is permanent. <laughs> that is called the fifth of 50 pounds of plaster. <laughs> Bursting, that's why this is on. But I think I might keep this just because if I'm doing, like it's such a, it's like the perfect size. I just got it, I think it honestly was like $2. This is like at Home Depot and yeah, I think I'm gonna just like put this behind the tables once I'm set up when I get the legs next week. And I'm just, um, Ikea sounded pretty confident that they're getting them in and they're like, oh yeah, we only sell, sell eight a week, so it should be fine. I said, sure, they better be serious about that. So Ikea, don't, don't let me down. Um, and I got some cute, like, I found that cute pot that I haven't obviously put anything in. I gotta do, Redo some potting over there and water my poor Christmas cactus. And then eventually when everything, I get my cupboards and everything, like all that's gonna be organized and this is just gonna be finished art only for the most part. I'll probably keep some bisqueware on the lower shelf uh, for my ceramic practice. I think I like my ceramic tools in a cart because I can take it with me either to the wheel or um, move it around my table. I think that's a much, I think, I don't think I want drawers for my ceramics anymore. Um, but I'm gonna set my Alex because I think the Alex would look good over there maybe. So I have the spray booth right now. It's been on my wedging table, which gives me very little room to wedge on. So I'm trying to redo or rethink about where I'm gonna put it. I might be putting it in a different corner and I might be taking uh, my plinths and putting it back onto my plinths. I gotta think about it. So my mission is to move that today, my spray booth. And I gotta paint these, assemble the Alex. I wonder even if the spray booth will fit on the Alex without causing it not to open. So I gotta look at that. That might be an option and it would also be a space saver. So instead of having this setup where I have a plinth and a plinth and my paint tray there, I'm gonna put a cabinet and a cabinet so I can have my display on top. And then one cabinet's going to be for um, like painting supplies, drawing mediums. And then the other cabinet's going to be uh, glaze materials and glazes and uh, my cones, all my ceramic cones. I don't even know where they are right now. I forgot to show you um, what I got at Ikea. Let's do that. Before, I think you probably saw a lot of it when I was um, buying it. I forgot what was going on there for a second. I got a basket that has a plastic thing in it. Anyway, got a basket for my plants because all plants need baskets, obviously. So somebody's getting a new basket and it's probably not that plant because he I think that's game over for that plant. Um, I need to just need to go buy new plants for in here because I moved a lot of them upstairs into my house and now I think I need to get some new plants. So I think I'm gonna find a plant baby for this guy to put on a shelf at the beginning here or up on one of those shelves at the ends or maybe up there so I can maybe I'll get like a something that hangs. And I also got these cuties, little baskets. I don't know why I needed these, but I felt like I could, I could probably paint these. Oh my gosh, I do have a spray paint of chalk paint that's pink, like that blush pink that I also bought two years ago and never used. So maybe I'll spray paint these baskets next because I really want just like a serene 
area. Those are not really my colors, but they're calm. And I tend, I have like a lot of black everywhere else. So I just want something serene so I can just, um, this is a cat toy. You guys need to see that. I have bought another one. Oh yeah, check it out. So if anybody's looking for some uh, rainbow stuff this year for your life, because you're a collector of rainbows, Ikea has some rainbow bags. Now, I live in Canada, so I don't know if the Canadian Ikea and the American Ikea are the same. I'm gonna guess so. Why would you not have this awesome rainbow bag? Why do I need this rainbow bag? I don't, but I bought it. I'm sure it'd be great for like a teacher bag. Like, cause you know how strong these things are. You can carry your lunch kit in here, some stuff for the day. So I think it was probably, I think it was 99 cents. I can't remember, probably said it in the video. I got those two clamp on uh, lights. My arm on my um, filming is also clamp on. So then if I had these two lights on here, maybe if they're bright enough, I won't have to use those like big table lights. Okay, unboxing of the hand. Now should I unbox it right now? Yes, I should. I'll put it back in the box after, but I know you guys wanna see it. So um, these two guys are at Ikea right now. So if you're looking for um, the figures or like hands, uh, definitely go to Ikea right now. These are there in the home decor accessory section. I'm 100% not sure. Like, are people decorating their houses with this? Because, I mean, it's cool, but... Seems random. But I don't care because it's perfect for me and you. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, there's plastic on it. Maybe that's why. I don't want any scissors though. That's so lame. Fine. I'll reach over and get scissors. Is that good enough? Yes! So strong, guys. Okay, I'm just joking. I'm being super sarcastic. Okay, yeah, like this guy's also at Ikea. Isn't that weird? Cheap, cheap prices. So if you're looking for some guys or figures or if like, Honestly, Whippy, so okay, first of all, if you want them for your classroom for like art reasons, like get that, but like wouldn't these be super cute for like labeling your tables, like you could like glue numbers on them, like and paint each table a different color and each one of these, or instead of if you can't decorate your tables, you could like decorate these guys, right? And then, so you could decorate them and uh, each one could be a different color. That might be nice. You could have a red table, but this would be red. And then unboxing this guy. So this is just a hand. I would. <laughs> I was just thinking of all the fun things I could. Um, yeah, they have hands there. So that is interesting. I thought, why not? Get a hand. I think I'm just gonna use these as like little decor pieces. So when I get those two cabinets over here, I'm going, they're just wood too. I'm gonna paint them. No idea what color yet. So if you have ideas, I don't, I, again, I want serene, but I want artsy. I don't want everything to be white also. Like a natural vibes. I'm looking for natural vibes, guys. And keeping these plain, maybe I could stain them. Okay, you think about it, you think about it. Let me know in the comments. But um, I wanna paint the cabinets once I get them. Next week, hopefully, if they're on stock. Gosh, my goodness, I bet you watch. I'll go to Ikea next week, I'll get those trestle legs for my tables, and then those cabinets will probably be gone or something ridiculous. I don't know, but hey, you're joining me next week when I go there, so that'll be fun times. And we're gonna go through the showroom because I can start, I might do all the little tiny things at the end, like getting cute little drawers and whatever, but I have to think about it. Anyways, you let me know your ideas in the comments, but I want you to know that these are, are available there. And, and wow, they don't go back in their containers very easy. Get in there! 
You do, but not your hand, friend. Okay, so that's it. Uh, time to move Ray Booth because it needs to be moved. And worst case scenario, it's gonna go beside my desk. So I prefer not to have a big towering spray booth beside me, but if it has to happen, it has to happen, right? Here we go. for the spray booth, then I think I'll figure out things everywhere else. I'm gonna pile everything up and organize and then we're gonna paint those shelves and get on to the Alex. So but I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. I got everything moved, dude. Check out. Look at that, I got it all cleared. All right. It's time to move this spray booth. But I gotta move the plant first. So next step is to assemble the 
um, Alex drawers and then I'll show you what that looks like. Here we go. Well, to be honest, I went and ate dinner and everything. So um, I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the, of the evening and I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Um, gonna finish the Alex drawer set and then I'm probably gonna paint the plants and the shelves at the same time while I have white paint out. And I'm gonna leave that turquoise paint for something else and maybe I'll try washing the pottery wheel tomorrow. Well, that's gonna be a challenge, let me tell you. Anyway, that's it for today. I think I'm too tired. I have a lot of, a lot of moving and everything going on. So I think we're good. I'll set this aside, finish this in the morning, paint the shelves, repaint the plants, wash that, water my plants, and I think I'm gonna make some art after that. Gotta work on finishing this painting and starting some new ones. Also need to get myself a proper wood easel. So I'll have to do a trip out to uh, Opus one day to do that. So that's about it, I think. Not much more I can do at this point, I don't think. So yeah, definitely need to water some of those plants up on my uh, little shelves up there for sure. But anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed this and I'll see you in the morning. I'm Ms. Artastic, and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video, and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas, so comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art.